A U.S. stocks index futures pulled back prior to the start of Wednesday's session as investors noted the muted trade in international markets. The Dow futures dropped six points earlier, with the S&P 500 and Nasdaq futures also pointing to a relatively flat start to the day. Investors are also looking at the share price moves from companies, including Disney and Snap, that's reported after the bell on Tuesday. And in Asia, stocks closed mixed on Wednesday, with China losing steam after rebounding in the last session as regional markets took cues from Wall Street's overnight advance on strong earnings. Japan's Nikkei 225 closed lower by 0.08% after dropping more than 100 points within the span of minutes during afternoon trade. South Korean stocks also traded higher, with the Kuspi inching higher by 0.06%. In Australia, the S&P ASX 200 tacked in 0.23%, with gains in materials and the heavily weighted financial stub index buoying the benchmark. The Hong Kong Hansen index edged higher by 0.15%. And in China, the Shanghai Composite fell 1.23%, closing at 2,745.11, and the blue chip CSI 300 lost 1.59% at the end of the day. Let's take a breather from those numbers now. The Ugandan government says the country's fledging national airline will be a candidate for an initial public offering and closer cooperation with other carriers if the launch goes as planned. According to the Transport Minister, Monica Ntege, the airline, which signed deals for Airbus, wide-body jets and Bombardier regional planes, is due to begin operating 19 routes in January 2019. The airline's major role will be in boosting travel links and introducing competition to bring down fares as Uganda seeks to establish a new flag carrier after it collapsed in 2001 amid mounting debts. And data from the South African Chamber of Commerce and Industry shows an increase in the monthly business confidence to 94.7 in July from 93.7 in June. The chamber explains that activity was mainly supported by an increase in merchandise export volumes and retail sales, as well as lower inflation. The data shows six of the 13 sub-indices improved in July, compared with their June readings, while three were unchanged. The biggest positive month-on-month -month influences in July were merchandise export volumes, lower inflation and real retail sales. Tula Oil and the Kenyan government have agreed to resume work at Tula's oil fields after over a month of inactivity due to protests by the community. Residents demanded more security in Takana and began blocking trucks carrying oil from Tula's fields in July. The chief administrative secretary at the Petroleum and Mining Ministry, John Masonic, says the government has further resolved to establish a two-tiered system framework that will provide communities living in Takana County and uh, Tula Oil with avenues for addressing any emerging issues and concerns. Tulo is targeting production in Kenya of at least 100,000 barrels of oil equivalent per day after the first oil in 2021 and 2022. The government of Mozambique has approved contracts giving exclusive rights to energy companies to act on concessions awarded to them to explore for oil in the country. The approval comes after four years of negotiations and delays that threaten to derail the project. The contracts give the concessionaires exclusive rights to conduct oil operations with the aim to produce oil from the natural resources deposits underneath the areas. More than $30 billion is expected to be invested in Mozambique's natural gas sector to build capacity to produce 20 million tons per year of LNG, with the first exports due to start in 2021. And here in Nigeria, the oil and gas industry is dominated by the male gender, with a handful of women striving for inclusion. As female engineers cope with some of the challenges in the system, experts at an industry-wide roundtable discuss the female gender relevance as well as the possibility of balanced work life with the demands at the home front. I read somewhere where someone also said that if you want to create a thing, invite a man. But they want that thing done, put a woman there. So little wonder that in the recent times, our government 
and started putting women in charge of finance. But some of, some of us who could think back, you know, when women are there, you get action. Uh, that is not to say that men can't do it, but it's just that they have too many considerations sometimes, and that holds them back. So for me, if you are committed, you will see opportunities. You will see opportunity despite all the roadblocks, despite all the problems, you will see opportunities. Now, um, when I was being introduced, you were told I worked in several hands of NNPC, ranging from research to science to, I can fit in anywhere. Maybe my corporation have come to know that I'm kind of a problem solver. So they take me to very tough places. For me, the first thing I see there, I see the people there as my family. My last, before I came to Port Harcourt, my, lap, my last posting was in Kaduna. Two people were posted there before me. And they lobbied themselves back. No, not for me. Anywhere you take me, I survive there. Because the first thing I see there is, this is my family. Desert, I see gold. When you are seeing failure, I see success. So, that's what I mean by commitment. So to come on business incorporated, Morocco accepts imports of American poultry products for the first time. Do stay with us for details. 